Namaste, my friends. The entire journey of the Eastern Wisdom is a self-awareness program. You become aware this is to be done, this is not to be done. It is an emotional freedom program. Emotional freedom is one of the major causes of our anxiety, reaction, duality, blame, frustration, fear, conflict. It's, it's a kind of an emotional freedom. You wake up in the morning, you're free, you're relaxed and calm throughout the day. What caught the attention of the mind is of an impulsive nature. Whenever we have a pain in the suffering, uh, the mind becomes more attentive. What we have, what we possess in our life, that is very good. And still, the mind pays little attention. So always remember, Eastern Wisdom is a self-awareness program, it is an emotional freedom program, it is also a mental transformation program. Mental transformation, you know, health or the sickness whether it is physical or emotional or mental, do not knock the door that I am coming. One day you wake up and you feel frustrated, anxious, reactive, scared. It comes uninvited. And the mind feels it. We experience that. Question is, can we change that? Can we educate the mind to remain indifferent, unaffected, not to be dictated by the sudden changes in our life? Eastern wisdom says, yes, it is 100% possible. How? You know how to work on the mind. You get away with when the mind starts working on you. It is the mental transformation program. So the three elements, <coughs> self-awareness program, emotional freedom program, mental transformation program, and then knowledge-oriented peace and happiness rather than action-oriented or action-induced peace and happiness. No, but uh, what, what that means? That you recognize that the peace, the happiness, love and the wisdom are your essential nature. So when you recognize and realize they are your essential nature, you need not to do anything. Where are you sitting? You are sitting at your home, so there is a recognition. You are sitting at your home and I ask you how long it will take you to reach your home. Now I am at my home. No action is required. That is the higher stage that the Eastern wisdom brings to our life. Then what is action oriented? You you are you have a stress, you take some pills or you do the practice and you relax and you find the calmness and after a few hours that calmness goes away. Again you practice, again you take the pills and etc. etc. Action induced peace and happiness. I believe you have understood. That is what Eastern Wisdom is aspiring for in our life. And that the, all the four and five steps are called 
conscious evolution and transformation. You can also say it is an awakening, it's a realization. Now understand what our life includes and how that stress and sorrow and the suffering, fear and anxiety enters in our life. What our life includes? Our life includes physical, robotic, mental or emotional, intellectual, social, personal, professional, family life and its activities. We know it, but how what is included expresses itself in our daily living. It expresses in behavior, in attitude, in skills, in abilities, in kindness, sometime in anger, aggression, hesitation, fear, <coughs> It's very easy for us when every day the life expresses its behavior, its responses towards peace, calmness, love and wisdom. But it becomes challenging when the same mind expresses its behavior and attitude in anger, anxiety, hesitation, duality, conflict. So there are two sets of behavior. It is present with everyone. So we want to get rid of the second one. We want to keep or increase the first one, where the behavior and attitude and, and the skills. Some people have a greater skill to endure. Other people get flared up on a small issues, on a small challenges. They get full of anxiety, duality, and a conflict. There are two sets. How to understand? How to understand if we can handle everything? in peace, with peace, in love, with love, in wisdom, and with wisdom. Can we handle each and every one in the life outside? No, we cannot handle. Your dear friend knocks the door and because uh, he or she is impulsive in nature and you start the conversation and during the conversation he or she just makes a remark and that hurts you. Now see that he or she made a remark unconsciously, impulsively and habitually. He or she did, did, did not have a control over it. But then I get upset. I cannot control anyone outside in the world, but I should have an ability to handle so that the anxiety, reaction, duality, conflict never enters into my life. Are you understanding? In a simple way, I cannot change the world outside. Can I change myself to handle every situation, condition, event in my day-to-day -day life? I have to make my mind strong. What makes the mind strong? Remember, self-awareness program emotional freedom program, mental transformation program, knowledge-oriented peace and happiness, I just discussed. So knowledge-oriented peace and happiness, you are listening to him or her who impulsively said something. The mind should have felt bad, but the knowledge-oriented peace and happiness creates a wall prevents you to get into anxiety. Previously, yes. Now, no. Are you getting it? That is what Eastern wisdom says it is possible. Handle means that we think, speak and work in peace. Happiness, love, 
and care. We can handle them in various degrees. Some can, someone can handle very well, others, <clears throat> others can handle the situation excellently and still others can handle the situation in a very casual manner and others cannot handle. Who cannot handle? Who do not have a mental maturity, who does not have the right knowledge, whose peace and happiness is not knowledge oriented, it is action oriented. I'm making it simple to understand, but these are the higher aspects of the Eastern wisdom. And I believe you can get it. Handle means we keep body, breath, emotion, mind in a state of well-being. Well-being in a state of well-being, what it means? In spite of adverse and favorable situation outside. Outside, favorable, unfavorable, good, bad situation. Inside is a perfect poise. Calmness. Handle also means that we are not dictated by any negative issues with whatever is happening in the world. What happens then we are living in peace and happiness. We are free from anxiety, duality, conflict. The word is self-awareness program that I discussed. I'm aware as we live our life where all the five senses are active, they goes outside, they collect the information processed by the mind and we recognize, we appreciate and we accept. We thank all these five sense organs who recognizes the situation, event, people outside appreciate and accept of what is right and good and able to return the same attitude of peace and happiness. The sun rises in the morning, the eyes looks at it, the mind processes the information. So the mature mind sees the sun rises. Because the sun rises, it's always a good morning. Nothing to do with the bad morning. Bad morning has to do with my impulsive, my habitual nature. See that? Did you, did you, are you aware of the difference, the separation? The sun will continue to rise, sun will continue to set. There is nothing good and bad. Who adds good and bad, the mind, mood, mood swing, anxiety, fear, and the frustration. So that is what is recognition, uh, appreciation, and acceptance of the situation outside, and do not allow that any outer situation or person to enter into your mind and give a wrong interpretation that may ah, push you to anxiety, duality, and a conflict. So recognition, appreciation, and acceptance. You are in the kitchen preparing a cup of tea or a coffee so there is self-awareness program, you are paying attention, you are fully aware, you have chosen to take a cup of coffee or tea, so that awareness continues, what happens to the impulsive mind, impulsive mind says, no, I'm not, I'm not interested, you have prepared a tea and a coffee, you leave it in the kitchen, you go to the living room and you sit and you start thinking impulsively what happened yesterday, why that guy or a girl, you see? So we have stopped recognition, appreciation and acceptance of the situation outside without getting affected. Now see you are affected. 
You are affected. You are affected. You have some maybe an anxious or reaction or anger, anxiety. You are affected. So through the self-awareness program, we recognize the frequency of that reaction. We try to understand the intensity of that reaction. And we want to know the recovery period. <coughs> if the frequency is <coughs> more and more, let me know. If there is too much of frequency of any episode of anxiety, fear, frustration, then we have to take a very intense practices. But if the frequency is not too much and the intensity of that reaction is not too much, and I know it is not too much, frequency is not too much, and so the recovery period means you wake up in the morning, you, if mind says you have a sense of reaction and a fear, you are aware of it, you recognize that the peace is your essential nature, and suddenly your mind changes to peace and happiness. The recovery period is just a few seconds. But if the recovery period is few minutes that affects your few days. And if the recovery period is more than seven minutes, you're cooking, you're preparing a tea, you're going to the, you're sitting in the living room, you're watching your pets. So during that period, the mind keeps on dragging and that takes a long time to recover. Tell me, let me know. Frequency, intensity, and the recovery. Please note. So when you tell me, when you explain to me, what is that frequency, intensity, and recovery, at the same time, recognition, appreciation, and acceptance of the life. Why we say that? All of our stress, suffering, fear, anxiety, duality, and a conflict <coughs> enters our life from the back door. Based on our living, it appears. Based on our living, it appears the life belongs to someone else. What we want to think mind does not think. What mind thinks we do not want, it happens. We don't want to think of the anxiety, fear and duality and still the mind pushes us, forces us. So it appears as if mind is not in my control. Mind is not listening to me. I don't want. See that? Same thing happens to the body. <coughs> You wake up in the morning, one day, and you feel you are affected by the, uh, the seasonal cold. Did you ever think of it? No. So body is also not listening to me, mind is not listening to me, emotions. I get overwhelmed with the emotion. They all come uninvited, unwelcome. What should do? What should we do? Self-awareness program, emotional freedom program, mental transformation program, knowledge oriented, peace and happiness. You know, it took me almost 30 seconds to explain, but Eastern wisdom makes you capable enough to apply in a fraction of a second. The moment I say, are you aware, you are already aware. It takes a fraction of a millisecond to be aware before I explain. 
that is what our great masters used to live. So when you get that level of awareness, you know that you know that this, this comes from the outer situation, people and relations, and you do not allow it to be dictated. So you see that we have done a couple of times, and for the sake of understanding, I'm repeating that <coughs> can we handle, can we handle with a care? Care to ourselves, can we handle the situation, huh? the body, the mind, and the emotions. And I can tell you, the moment through the self-awareness program, your mind realizes what is real and unreal, what is false and the true. You reduce the intensity of your sorrow and the suffering, and the recovery period becomes very little. I believe you are understanding. So what happens in your mind once you recognize this is real and unreal and the mind awakens to the knowledge what is constantly changing is unreal, what is never changing is real you become more and more aware of the real self inside you that takes you to the knowledge-oriented peace and happiness. That is what the true meditation is. <coughs> and that is what the answer of a question, do we recall, remember, and settle in peace at the times of this suffering? You know, when you have an anxiety reaction, you forget all these principles. And that is why I put in the first step is the self-awareness. Do you remember at the time of the stress, duality, conflict? <coughs> that real self is my nature. I forget it. The mind forgets. The mind always looks only one side of the coin. It doesn't look at the other side. That I had been in peace for so many days. I had been in peace for 20 hours in the day. The mind doesn't remember this. So the impulsive mind follows the self-forgetfulness program. Eastern wisdom demands self-awareness program. So again, we should remember the moment you are into the self-awareness program, you recall and remember and settle in peace and happiness. This is what the recognition, uh, appreciation and acceptance of what is good and right in your life, instead of what causes the anxiety. And if it causes anxiety and reaction, so we have, we have to note down the frequency uh, intensity and the recovery period. For the recovery period, you s simply do, oh, let me uh, stay away for five minutes to do some practice. Let me rec remember. Let me recognize it is because of the emotional dependence or emotional freedom. You just think in your mind and you see what happens. Take an example of the body. It's a physical, consists of carbohydrate, protein, and the fat, and some minerals, they all come from the world outside. We know too much from the science, still the body does not listen to us. We never knew that the COVID virus will infect millions of people will die. 
We are helpless to keep the body in a healthier state 24 by 7. No person who is born can keep the state of well-being of the body all the time. First reason is that I'm not the body and second is the body is constantly changing. So I can only, I should be aware first that I am not the body, second that I should live a healthier life, third is that I should constantly maintain, fourth is that even if any problem, challenges enters into the body, I follow the self-awareness program of real and unreal, emotional freedom program. Nobody can stop aging, <coughs> and aging has its own challenges. What I could do at young age, I cannot do now, even, even if you keep doing all the workout in the physical, you cannot keep the hairs black. Sooner or later, one can postpone the aging. So what is that? I recognize it's a healthy aging. I appreciate, I accept it, and I'm ready to understand the frequency intensity of the challenges that comes uninvited. I should do the practice in order to faster the recovery. You see, the modern education cannot give us peace, happiness, love, and wisdom. We can be educated in science, in trade, in profession, in technical education. We have the mind. So mind learns it and it follows it mechanically. But the modern education do not educate us how to be in peace to do a particular job, how to be in love and affection, living a relationship in the world outside, how to keep away from any situation that may dictate our mind into anxiety and reaction. This is what Eastern wisdom. So the Eastern wisdom goes at a very deeper level over in our human psychology and understands the ultimate cause of our suffering, mental, emotional, or physical. So what is the meaning of finding the ultimate cause? When we reach to the ultimate cause, frequency of our challenges becomes minimum. Intensity goes to almost negligible and recovery period is fast. For example, if I say the ultimate cause of the river is to merge into an ocean. Is it not? Tell me. Same way. The ultimate cause of the body, mind, life, activities, behavior, and attitude is the real self. <coughs> and that real self is of the nature of peace and happiness of love and wisdom. Uh, so, so I find a secondary cause. I find only the symptoms. Yes. So when the mind stays at the secondary causes of our challenges in the life, that mind is the impulsive mind. We need an emotional freedom program. Who 
what is the ultimate cause? It is the pure consciousness. Where the consciousness is located, here and now. How can you say? Are you conscious of me? Yes. Am I conscious of you? Yes. Are you conscious of your house? Yes. Are you conscious of your kitchen? Yes. What? If you are conscious, so you are consciousness. I'm conscious of you, I'm conscious of the world outside, I'm conscious of my body, I'm conscious of my... So what? What do you mean? That means I'm consciousness. But I, why I don't recognize self-forgetfulness? Why self-forgetfulness? Because of the past impressions, they return. The mind wants to continue with its impulsive nature. No, but if I drop it, how can I drop? I drop it consciously. Self-awareness program. Where? Anywhere, at any time, in any location. What that means, that I do not allow the mind to be dictated and affected by any outer situation, people, things. So impressions are there, but now they are not affected. So what will happen? The tide has gone up. With the self-awareness program, you are not affected. It comes down. <laughs> Do you see that? This is what happens. High rise wave is there in the mind, but you are separating it from the outer situation and condition. That wave rises and it does not find any outer situation to identify. Go on. Can you imagine the recovery period is instant? You are in peace and happiness, love and wisdom. Because the mind, because the mind is impulsive, mind has a sense of emotional dependence on the outer situation. So what happens, the mind concludes, it's a wrong conclusion, that there is an uncertainty, the situation is unpredict, unpredictable, And that, that I received the stress and the suffering, anxiety, and that we fail to handle in life, we have all those negative thought entering into the mind. Then the mind says, I have been doing the practice for so long, but nothing is happening. Everything is happening. That frequency is so less. Intensity is down. Recovery period is far. at least you recognize and you ask a question that it is going down. In the in the past, we did not even recognize. The mind used to superimpose its authority of emotional dependence in a situation, and we used to suffer for many days, but now many days have reduced to hardly an hour. You write to me and the second mail that you write to me that says, I am on the path. Is it not a recovery period is fast? My friend, think of it. Think. We are changing. We recognize. You appreciate and accept that you are changing. How you are changing? It is a self-awareness program is entering into your mind, your intellect. It is the emotional freedom program altogether. Every session includes everything, whether it is a talk or a practice, mental transformation program, knowledge oriented peace and happiness, conscious evolution and transformation. That is what is happening in your life, changing. When we follow each step about what happens, self-awareness program, what happens? You become aware daily, every moment. We separate ourselves instantly 
from the guilt, anxiety, reaction, and do it. You just simply separate. Where you separate? You separate in your mind. How you separate? Through awareness. What is the point of that separation? What is real and unreal? What happens in uh, in the self, uh, no, 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 emotional freedom program helps the mind to drop, dissolve, and destroy the issues affecting you. It makes your mind very soft, gentle, allow anxiety to flow out of you. You don't hold on to it. When you are holding on to it, that is the emotional dependence program is. That, that comes from the instinctive impulsive mind which carries a lot of impressions. But emotional freedom, oh, a little pressure comes and it goes. How long it takes to feel that pressure? A second, a millisecond, and it is gone. So... What is that emotional freedom? Emotional freedom is the state of the mind that allows the anxiety to flow out of you not being affected and dictated. Someone told me in a group session that, are you crazy? You know, I, I'm more crazy than you think. I didn't allow the word craziness coming from outside to influence and dictate my mind so that I can enter into anxiety and a reaction. <coughs> you allow. <coughs> you allow the mind to throw that anxiety and reaction that your mind has already perceived. I'm more crazy than you think. And everybody started laughing. So that the word craziness and its meaning has changed. Who changed it? Emotional freedom. Don't get entangled with any word coming from outside. <clears throat> Even if someone says that you are crazy, you, you have no authority to give me any certification. So that thought contains the knowledge which gives you an emotional freedom. But if you keep on thinking, oh, why he said that I'm crazy, then emotional dependence of the mind takes over, the past impressions are retrieved, and then you carry forward the problems. Do we know we have two areas in life at all the time? Two areas. That brings us that understanding. What are the two areas? One, we are living casually, habitually. Life is good, calm and relaxed. The calmness and the peace we experience without making any effort. You wake up in the morning and you are relaxed, you go to the kitchen, have a cup of tea, you talk to someone, everything is passing smoothly. That is one set of experience. That is also over behavior and attitude. And another set of behavior and attitude causes anxiety, duality, and a conflict. Yeah, we have two sets of attitude. You can divide into two groups. Are you clear? Say yes, my friend, with a smile on face. So we find the life, like a seesaw, moves into where the two sets are. Mind is one. The seesaw is one at the center, the whole one. Good bad, right, and one day, good, bad, right, is already hidden inside. That's why it appears it has gone down and it has been taken over by 
another set of behavior is the anxiety duality and a conflict self-awareness program remember i'm reminding you then i will explain it in detail again in a different way self-awareness program emotional freedom mental transformation knowledge oriented peace and happiness conscious evolution and transformation mind says i'm an anxiety it is a thought and a feeling can i introduce another thought and a feeling in the mind that peace is my essential nature i'm relaxed and still i have the anxiety how dare it is just check it what that means that we need to soften our stand when we have the dualities reaction conflict anger hesitation present in the mind that is the emotional freedom program i have not to harden the stand my stand why i harden the stand because of the past impressions triggering effect is there i'm getting dictated by the outer situation person the people we need to soften our stand when we have the dualities reaction conflict you sit down contemplate and reflect what that means you are softening your stand to these challenges when we soften our stand we are more aware what do you mean by more aware you are following this self awareness program you are ready to move towards the emotional freedom your mind becomes soft appears to become very clear in that softness and gentleness we raise our level of awareness our mind does not pick up any negative attitude it is one part of the mind that is soft gentle receives the calmness now the calmness is dealing with the anxiety other part of the mind is hard due to the past impressions set behavior where money all other amenities cannot work the money cannot buy calmness that is what we we normally say we find the stress suffering blame complain and game whenever we have that feeling it is the mind has uh, has hardened its stem and that is why it keeps on thinking so when we soften our stand the mind doesn't flare up it does not make a small situation a big a small event as a big event of stress and suffering we learn to endure supported by the calmness we realize we cannot change the outer situation then we are ready to respond recognize appreciate and accept by the way happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving promise to yourself to evolve and help everyone to evolve all celebrations are celebrated every year to point out to the crazy mind that we need to make our entire life a celebration did you listen to it i'm repeating there are many celebrations you know marriage birthday anniversary and christmas and thanksgiving etc etc you know the event of celebration lasts for only two or three days you may have a good memories you have celebrated thanksgiving yesterday and tomorrow it will disappear so 
So Eastern wisdom says, why do, don't you do something that makes your entire life a celebration? Every day there should be a celebration. <clears throat> you don't see the difference between a celebration of a Christmas or Thanksgiving or any other event on a given day. You are living your life. Possible. That is why we say peace and happiness are our essential nature. So when they are our essential nature, it does not allow anything to enter into our head or the mind. <clears throat> Take it, uh, let me... Uh, let me go a little deeper and take this understanding at a very <coughs> casual level. Casual is not, does not mean that uh, not important, very important. Take an example of the physical well-being. When we are living with the physical state of well-being, we should serve not only ourselves, but we should also maintain the well-being of ourselves. And we should see, also we should serve the well-being of others. That is why Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Let everyone be in the state of the well-being And you are, your personality, your attitude is wonderful. Not only you want to keep the level of your physical well-being, but you also want to serve, help, support others. Why we should support others? Because it softens the stand of the mind. From from selfishness, we expend our mind. So that attitude, a little attitude, even in the mind, works very well. It is one of the great secrets of living in Eastern wisdom. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu let everyone be in the state of well-being. So I'm thinking, I'm feeling, I'm also perceiving that every living species on this planet, you know what happens? It softens this stand. What it means? Emotional freedom program. You're driving, you can see that. So if physical well-being is not there in the life, in our life, then we have to take extra care depending on the age and the challenges. And even at the same time, we soften the emotional and mental attitude towards the body. We learn to increase our endurance, calmness, rest and relaxation all the time. That is why I said, remember this self-awareness program, emotional freedom program, mental transformation program, knowledge-oriented peace and happiness. I'm repeating it again. The more you remember and recollect at the times of the challenge, as you will find, oh, how easy it is. It does not even take a fraction of a second to return to a state of the calmness and peace. So once we are aware of that, we can easily recognize the frequency, intensity, and the recovery period. Tell me. Write to me. So the more and more you write to me, how long it took take you to recover? from a sense of anxiety and a reaction and how you dealt with that situation that comes all under the self-awareness program. <clears throat> so, 
So with that clarity and understanding, how living species has a different level of awareness. I told you last time also, this human body is the greatest gift. Only in this human body, the mind can attain emotional freedom. Not possible with a tiger, with a lion, with an elephant, with a mosquito, with a, or any of your pets. So, you know, they are mutually uh, supportive, the mind and the body. So this mind can attain freedom only when we have the human body. And that is why it is a human body is a gift to all of us. Any mind with a human body can listen, can get the knowledge, can do the practice to become free emotionally, to get rid of the stress and suffering. Tell me any living species who can listen and learn. It is the greatest gift. So because of this human body, we, has a, we have a free mind, we have a free intellect, we have a capacity to gain knowledge and perform action to change and transform our life. So if we are not doing it, our master says that we, you know, we are not born as a human being. And why it is a gift and a blessing? We did not know we will be born as a human being. Is it very clear to you, the existence, there is one existence of which we are not yet aware. In that, that existence has given birth to the mosquito, the elephant, and the cows, and the buffaloes, and the tiger, and me. So me with the human body has, it is the greatest gift. I can think, I can observe, I can attain the knowledge, I can set myself free. As the mosquito, elephant, tiger, they cannot. So when we understand this, that very understanding is living wisely. And that living wisely helps us to accept any challenges of the life. Soften or stand to live in peace and happiness all the time. I said self-awareness program and opposite itself forgetfulness. Where is, so uh, is, does the real self forgets anything? No, the mind forgets. Mind moves into the state of forgetfulness, into the state of the wandering, into the state of obsession. <clears throat> so that peace and happiness still lies inside. The mind superimposes the forgetfulness. Mind superimposes the wandering nature. The mind superimposes the obsession. With anything, we simply forget. The peace and happiness remains there. So what is the first step to live wisely? To recall, to remember to recognize, to appreciate. So what is going to happen? We drop uh, reaction. We don't react to the situation. Relationship. We remain relaxed, calm. And the best thing is, <coughs> in the in a situation of a reaction, anger, hesitation, it's better not to make a decision. 
don't talk too much. If we talk too much, we rationalize and that rationalization is reflected in, the, in that situation the people will not respect you. Where is the second uh, step to live wisely? Remember two ways of thinking to recognize, so easy. One set of thinking, feeling, emotion belongs to one group that keeps me in peace, happiness, love and wisdom. In the waking state of 12 and 14 hours, ask yourself, you will find 99% of the time went peacefully. And one minute do, did not go peacefully, it covers the entire peace and happiness. Did you get it? The mind tends to believe anxiety, stress and reaction much more than peace, relax and calm and its duration, its intensity in our daily life. That is the biggest challenge we have to face. That's why I said there are two sets of experiences, two sets of behavior. You are sitting on a couch for an hour, past peacefully and suddenly a thought enters into the mind. It destroyed the peace and the mind then says, Oh my God, how long am I going to live in stress? No, it, is, it, has only been, it has only been a minute. But why my mind says it has been so many days? Because of this self-forgetfulness. So I focus my talk on the self-awareness program, emotional freedom, mental transformation, all is oriented peace and happiness. To raise your level of awareness, to help you recognize instantly so that the frequency, intensity, and recovery period all reduces. So two sets of thinking. One is the wrong thinking. It creates a conflict. What is wrong thinking? Any thought that keeps on repeating without any solution is a wrong thinking. So I should recognize and drop it. After the moment you recognize and you drop it, you calm down, you relax, think then what is right and good. Find out the laziness and the jealousy and the hatred and the anger and the hesitation in the mind. The recognition, the very recognition will help you drop that. Can I say it's a very higher level? Yes, it is a very higher level. So should we move to the higher level now? Yes, we should move. How to help your mind by the Eastern wisdom. That is what Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu. One of the greatest way to live wisely that keep in your mind that Eastern wisdom says that we should learn and educate to think, speak and act out of peace and happiness, love and wisdom which is present in all of us. Now what to do if others are reacting and becoming angry, agitated, criticize me? They are not learning Eastern wisdom. They do not know that there is a way to think, speak and act in peace and happiness. They do not know. So what is left with them? Impulsive mind. So they have to think, act and uh, speak out of the anger, hesitation. Let them do it. Why should it affect me? We are learning Eastern wisdom. So what happens when you're thinking in that way? You enter into a self-awareness program. Internally, you have a smile on the face and externally, you keep calm. You, you're not ready to react. You allow it to come. You allow it to go. They remain outside. 
mind is not blind, it is not impulsive, it is not instinctive, it is not habitual. We'll talk about, you know, sometime we have a question that this mind does not change. We will understand. Mind is changing. Fact is that once you start listening, doing the practice, the mind keeps on changing. It may be changing deeper within you. The result will manifest maybe after a few weeks and months together. Sometimes we find the changes outwardly just after listening in the practice. It appears as if we have, an, we have a total change, but inside those impressions remain. Shanti 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 Thank you, my friend.